All right, for more on inflation and all the different crises we are facing as a country, we're joined now by Republican Senator from Kansas, Roger Marshall. He is in studio with us. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for coming in on your Saturday. We appreciate it. I want to start where Lucas kind of uh, finished up things with inflation. This is still the number one concern for American voters. The Fed just raised the rates. Larry Summers says this is only going to get worse before it gets better. So what is the Senate Republican plan to fight inflation? We saw Kevin McCarthy come out with his plan. Where are the Senate Republicans at right now? Well, Aisha, we've got to stop the spending and we've got to keep the taxes lower and then roll back regulations as well. This is absolutely the number one issue that I hear out, out on the campaign trail in my town halls as well as people concerned about the cost of groceries and the cost of gasoline. And the scary thing is Joe Biden is doubling down on his policy, so I don't see inflation coming to an end very soon. Energy always leads inflation. About a, about a third of the inflation rate, which is quadrupled, we just saw that, a third of it is driven by energy. And this president is doubling down on on his restraints on American energy. Will we see a plan, though, from Republicans in the Senate the same way that House Republicans have come out with one? Because right now, the White House continues to pick apart Senator Rick Scott's plan, um, which I know Leader, McCarth uh, Leader McConnell is not uh, completely in support of. Are we going to see a plan? Well, Aisha, I think certainly we were going to look at, at, at the future Speaker McCarthy's plan, and certainly I'm standing in line. We'll all be standing in line to get rid of 87,000 IRS agents. But beyond that, I think he outlines what we're for, very much so. But remember, this election is, is absolutely a referendum on Joe Biden. It's a referendum on his policies, and we need to tether those Democrat candidates to him. We need to keep the voters focused on this. This is going to be a referendum on the prices of gas and groceries, a referendum on the the open border and then just a referendum on the economy and lastly a, a referendum on who controls our schools so so we'll see certainly he reflects many of the things that we're for a strong economy lowering inflation secure borders uh, the, the basics of a strong economy but just to put a button on this will Senate Republicans release their own version of this commitment to America? Will we actually see a plan? I don't think that we have to write out a, a formal plan. I think you hear, a talk, hear us talking about it every day, the things that we're for, a strong economy, a smaller government, a stronger military, standing up for our God-given constitutional rights and traditional, traditional American values like faith and family, education, hard work. I know Leader McCarthy has kind of uh, put a warning out there uh, to the House that we will not vote for this continuing resolution to fund the government if there is no border security a part of this uh, deal. How do you feel about that? Um, is the government going to shut down on Friday? Well, it just may. This is more inflationary spending by Joe Biden, and I'm not for it. On top of the usual and customary spending of the federal government, which is too much, he, he wants another 40 or $50 billion. I certainly will use whatever leverage we can to get more funding to actually go in there and secure the border. Looks like uh, there's going to be a test vote for Senator Manchin's permitting reform bill. Your thoughts on that? Do you support it? You know, it, that's going to go down. I don't think they have 60 votes in the Senate. Uh, it's it's very it's it's all about Joe Manchin in West Virginia on, on his permitting. It's all about one pipeline for him, uh, but not about permitting for the rest of the country. This doesn't go nearly far enough. I expect it to go down. Uh, that CR continuing resolution is going to go back to the House, and then we'll get it back probably on late Friday. Okay, let's talk midterms for a second. We're just 44 days out, and the Senate is really still a toss up. If we can pull up the most recent Fox News power rankings. It shows that Republicans are expected to take uh, just about 51 seats here with a two-seat margin of error. Shouldn't these be easy seats to pick up considering the state of the country with where inflation is right now? Well, well, certainly in America, nothing is easy. It shouldn't be easy, but I'm very optimistic that we can get to 53. Uh, again, as long as we stick to this referendum on Joe Biden thing, I think that we have a great chance. I've done over 100 town halls now, and what I hear two or three weeks ago is typically what the polls are reflecting now. I've never seen voters so angry, so so frustrated with the president that wants 87,000 new IRS agents, that wants to forgive loans. And I've, we're seeing record numbers of people out there. Every time Joe Biden opens his mouth, that inspires my base to get out there and vote. Uh, so we'll take 51, we'll take 53. And the polls are moving in the right direction. Privately, I know Senate leadership has at least told me that they are very concerned about these states where they need to hold the ground rather than flip the seat. 
What are what states are you worried about the most? Well, I don't know. I'm worried about any of them. I think we have great candidates. I feel very confident uh, in Ohio and North Carolina. Uh, Marco Rupio is doing great down in Florida. We used to be talking about that all the time. So, Wisconsin. Yeah, so we've certainly taken Florida off the map. I'm very excited. I think Ron John, for the first time ever, is head in the polls. He's a great candidate. There's not a hard, harder fighter out there than Ron yes. Johnson. So I think That's we're moving in the right directions. Pennsylvania, we were worried about a, about a month ago. That's closing. Again, we've got a great candidate. They've got a horrible candidate. Who's going to vote for a person in a hoodie? Lot to talk about as we get to this final sprint here before the midterms. We hope to have you back on. Thanks for joining us, Senator. Thanks, Aisha. Great to be with you. You too. Great.